Hi there. How are you? I know. This is a really hard time. Um, I know you look kind of worn out. You okay? How are you getting through all of this? It's tremendously stressful. I know. <sighs> all we can do is focus on what we can control and not try to have control where we don't. So, maybe avoiding the news a little bit. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, you won't miss anything. I know, but we don't need it in our face all day long. Yeah, it's very hard because we like to pretend that we have control over most of our lives and it's situations like this that remind us that we actually don't have a lot of control over many, many things in our lives. Mm -hmm. Yes, and right now is a clear example of things we don't have control over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. It's very, very difficult. So what are you doing to take care of yourself? Mm -hmm. It's important to have structure. Yeah, if every day just bleeds into one another, it's too much. Uh -huh. Well, that's good. Yeah, you don't want to spend all day doing anything, um, even if it was good, healthy things, but yeah. Take your Netflix breaks, but, um, but also do some other things. Are you getting out in the sun? Good, good. That's important. It's an important time to get sunlight, to be outside when you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do whatever you can to take care of yourself. Mm. Well, I wanted to check in, but... Should we get down to the business of the day? So, you wanted a new spark. I can understand that. Uh, there are some people who are actually getting a lot out of this time. It has put some things into perspective, made some decisions a little bit clearer without being muddled by all the little nuances through the day and yeah. Well, that's why I'm here. I'm happy to give you a new spark. So is it okay if I get really close? And so, you know, for this, we use flames, correct? But they're not real. They can't burn you. So they look real. They may even smell real, uh, especially when I burn some of this Palo Santo. This is what we'll start off with. This is real. <laughs> this is for clearing. So this will get close to you, but not too close. I'm going to catch this baby on fire. So this is the only time this can create a real flame, like we see here, but when I pair it with hmm, my magical candle, the flame will not burn you as it's now a magical flame. Mm -hmm. So it is lit by a real lighter. Oh, this is beautiful. So let's get this all around you. I love Palo Santo. I think we all need a little bit more clearing lately than usual. Mm, can you see that smoke? Follow the smoke with your eyes. 
we're going to get you into a bit of a meditative state. Mm -hmm. It makes the creation of the spark go a little bit easier. So, look at the smoke. If you can't see the smoke clearly, then just look into my eyes. Mm -hmm. I'm here to help. You can trust me. You know I'm always here to help you. Let's get a little bit more. Okay. We'll let that continue to burn down here in the brazier. But now it's time for the magic, okay? Are you ready? Okay. So no fear. This candle, the candle does smell good. The candle is going to get very close to you, but it will not burn you. It will not send you. It will not make you feel warm. It is no longer a real candle. Mm -hmm. No heat. No flame. No fire. Just the spark. It will just put that spark into you. I don't want to blow too much though because it will put the magic out. So look at this candle. Follow the flame. As I talk, notice the flicker and allow yourself to focus on that and get into a bit of a meditative state. Let's count down from 10. 10, you're feeling more relaxed and calm. You know that there's nowhere else you need to be, nothing else you need to do right now. Nine. Everything is as it should be. It may not feel right. It may feel a bit scary. But it is as it should be right now. And there is no worrying that will make it better. Focus on this very moment, and you are healthy right in this moment. You are all right. Even if you aren't healthy, you will be taken care of. You will be cared for. We will be giving you the spark to move forward. Eight. You're starting to feel heavy and relaxed. It's hard to move your limbs. They're so heavy and you're so tired. Seven. There's no need to think about anything outside of this candle and where we are right now. Just keep looking at the candle. Six. Take a few deep breaths with me. Hold it and let go. Any worries you have will still be there when you are done, but you do not need them right now. Fully relax. Five. You are feeling deeply relaxed and calm. Four. Your eyes may be heavy, and you can close them if you would like to. Or you can continue to watch the flame and watch me, but try not to focus. Three. Breathe deeply and relax. Two. You're totally relaxed. One. Good. Good. You look better already. It looks like some of that worry is gone. So now we are going to use this flame to give you back some of your spark. 
So I am just going to trace your face with the flame, your forehead, back and forth. You will not feel heat or warmth, and you definitely won't burn, but you may feel a bit of a tingle as the spark enters your face, your eyebrows, your beautiful arched eyebrows. They are lovely. They did look a bit dull, but now the spark is coming back into your face. And you probably want to close your eyes just because it can be a bit scary, even though you know it won't burn you. And we'll go over your eyelids and your eyelashes. Beautiful. I can't wait to have you open your eyes again when this is done. Don't open them yet. To see that spark. Just the infinity symbol over both of your eyes. Good. Now open your eyes. Oh, it's good to see that spark again. Okay. I'm going to go down your nose. Your adorable nose. Very nice. And wings over your nostrils. And then up along your cheeks. Very nice. Lovely. Wings along your cheeks, and then circles on each cheek. Ah, oh, there's that little blush. The life is coming back. Good. Lovely. Okay. And now, your lips, your cupid's bow. Right between your lips and your nose, and then down to the top lip, and then the bottom lip. Lovely. Good. Yeah, now they were looking very dull and almost grayish, but now they look pink and healthy. And down to your chin. Nice. Beautiful. And along your jawline. Hmm. And I'll get your ears, so you will hear with this new spark, too. Very nice. And I'm just going to move down through your chakra points. So we have your crown and your third eye, which we've already gotten, but more will not hurt. Bring back that intuition and to your throat, setting those boundaries so that you take time for you. And down to your heart. Very nice. Find those things you love. That's one of the great things about getting your spark back. You will now find passions that will help you to have some purpose during this time. And it will also motivate you to get up in the morning. Mm -hmm. It's hard when a lot of our daily routine has changed. Okay, and down to your solar plexus at the base of your rib cage. Power and control, that is huge at this time. So we don't have a lot of control. We don't have a lot of power. That can be liberating in some ways because we can't seek to control what we know we have no control over. All we can do is control ourselves, our own mood, and be realistic. So reminding ourselves that Worrying will not make anything better for anyone else. All we can do is reserve our energy so that when we can help, we do. Mm -hmm. And sometimes helping just means we made dinner that night and didn't have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or cereal. That may be the best we can do right now, and that's okay. Moving down to your sacral chakra. What will you nurture at this time? Are there people around you you can nurture? 
Do you need to nurture yourself? Do you need to take good care of yourself at this time? And down to your root chakra. So the physical needs that you may have, taking care of those as well. Now moving back up your chakras now that they are balanced. And blowing this last little bit of spark into you. Beautiful. You look like a different person. You looked as I expected you would when you came in. Not a lot of people wearing a spark around right now, but some. Some are using this as an opportunity. Not to say they like it, not to say they wish it happened, but sometimes having our routines totally shaken up allows us to see that there might be another way. Not working 60 hours a week, getting eight hours of sleep a night, eating homemade meals, getting outside. I think people see the benefit of getting outside when it's the only thing they're allowed to do. <laughs> um, so spending so time out in the sun and going for walks when you can. Okay. But now I see that you have this spark. So you will not have trouble with finding the things that will keep you going. I'm so happy. Oh, you are just glowing. That light comes from inside now. Well, I'm so glad you came to me. I hope I was able to offer a bit of help and comfort at this time. You know, you can call at any time. And you may need me a lot over the next few months. <laughs> yeah, we go through phases where that spark just blows out when we're under this much stress. But I'm happy to come back. Just give me a call, okay? Alright. Take good care of yourself.